Welcome back into the show. We are so excited to be joined with Lexi and Nick, who are part of the Tamboritsons. Guys, welcome into the show. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. So for people that aren't familiar, even though you guys date back for a long time, our receptionist is from Pittsburgh. She's like, wait, you have the Tamboritsons on? She's like, it used to be all about them. You'd always hear about the Tamboritsons. Tell people, though, for aren't, that aren't familiar, what are you guys all about? Yes, so we're actually in our 87th season right now, if you can believe that. That's how long that we've been going. We're the longest live stage show running in America. Um, but what we are, we are a group of about 25 to 30 college students, and our mission is to kind of preserve and spread cultures, heritage, traditions um, of countries all around the world. And we actually travel the U.S. with shows, sharing our lovely show that we put so much effort and care into. Wow. And you guys are made up of college students. Yes. Um, yes. And we've got some pictures here. You focus a little bit on um, Eastern Europe, but you kind of go everywhere as far as uh, what cultures you pull from. Influence? What are some of the cultures we're seeing there on the screen? Oh, well, that's Slovak. That's the dance we're about to do. Uh, we saw Armenian earlier. There's some Serbian. I think that's that's Croatian, right? Yes, absolutely. We typically started kind of like what you said, just doing Eastern European dance, but now we've branched out. We wanted to represent more cultures than just that, and it's been very rewarding. There are so many rich cultures to explore, and we feel so lucky and grateful that we get to share them, preserve them, and just travel around doing what we love. Yeah, you bring it to life on stage. You've even focused on Italy before and Irish. Too. Wow, yes. that's amazing. Yes. And you guys are seniors in college. Yes. Mm -hmm. Congratulations and thanks for coming on the show, by the way. You know, yeah. not coming to class. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Tell us just what made you want to get involved. So um, my mom is from Slovakia. She grew up there and she immigrated here when she was an adult. So this is kind of what I've been doing ever since I was little started doing Slovak dancing, and then branched um, all into different cultures. What about you, Nick? It's a similar story with me. My mom did Polish dance growing up, and so I was in a junior group when I was younger, and when I graduated high school, I auditioned, and now here we are. Perfect, that is really, really neat. And you, it's scholarship-based, too, so you also uh, get a little bit of a kickback, too, yeah. when you're a part of a, the Tamboritsons. Yes, absolutely, it's kind of like a full-time job, except it's something fun that we all love doing. We become so close. We spend hours, sometimes up to 24 hours, on our tour bus traveling. Oh my goodness! Yeah, it's yes. Crazy. Okay, what's the furthest location you've been to? Um, the furthest location that I personally have been to would probably be Florida. We spend every spring break there, and we have a mini tour. But this May, we're hoping to go out west, in California. Um, Hopefully Texas, some different states yeah. out there. <laughs> yes. Fingers crossed, yeah. guys, so you're doing that. Can you tell us a little bit about your outfits? You want to go first? Yes, yeah, so this is from Slovakia, what we're both wearing. It's a Djetva style costume. Um, as you can see with the girls, we all wear very colorful costumes. It's meant to kind of show the youth youthfulness of the girls and our playfulness. As you'll see, this dance is very playful. Mm -hmm. And if you want to talk about the guy's costume a little bit. Well, I think the biggest feature of the guy's costume is we have spurs, as you can see. Ooh, or, or here. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of the steps have chopash, which is like a slapping combination. So it involves, you know, you're hitting different parts of your feet, and it really allows you to not only see the dance, but also hear it. Yes, all of which you'll see whenever we do a little segment for you guys. Um, and also at our show this Saturday in Johnstown, PA, if you want to talk a little bit about that. It's at 3 p.m. at the Richland Performing Arts Center. Um, I believe tickets, you can get tickets in person or on our website. Yeah. Yes. We've got the QR code, org. too. We're going to queue up here in just a bit. But you also can call that number right there on your screen uh, for details. Now, when people come out and see a show, it's not just dance, per se. You kind of um, take people on a little bit of a trip around all the different parts of the world that they're seeing. So you do a video, right, to kind of explain? Yes, absolutely. Um, actually, a member of our group, she created videos for each region um, to kind of orient the audience a little bit in terms of where we are, where we're going, to put in context what they're about to see. So not only do you get a visual and auditory representation of a country and their culture, but you're also learning a little bit behind that and the story of what went into that and why exactly we are doing that and how it came to be. Wow. Okay, can you guys tell us what the viewers are about to see with your dance performance? We're about to do a segment of our Slovak dance. Um, obviously, there's, there's a lot of stuff that the guys do and there's a lot of stuff that the girls do, but 
we don't want to give it all away before tomorrow, <laughs> so this is just a preview. Okay, <laughs> just a taste. Are you guys ready? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Please. You the normally perform with a uh, live band, mm -hmm. so this is just yes. a little bit of a clip of a, a recording, so take it away. Okay. Yes, we're ready. Just a fraction. How long does the performance go coming up this weekend? It's not about two hours. Two yes. hours? How do you have the stamina? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you're seeing a live band when you're there, so I mean, it's a whole orchestra playing. Yes. This and you is... play instruments too. Mm -hmm. Everyone does everyone everything <laughs> in the show. We dance, we sing, we play instruments. It's a mess backstage. Yeah. Everyone's running around, but on stage we're calm, cool, and collected. Oh, so it perform. sounds a little bit like studio. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Organized chaos. Like, Organized chaos, especially when it's live and, and a whole performance. You guys are just so amazing. I bet your parents are so proud. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We would and, like to think so. Yeah. <laughs> well, keeping the heritage alive, I mean, it's really an important thing, and I'm glad that, you know, both of you are doing that, preserving it on stage yes yes it's a very special opportunity that we have i think we both feel very lucky yeah and you're so sure. talented and i love it and it is true like authentic outfits and just tying yeah. in the cultures it's really a wonderful experience so can you remind people one more time how they can get tickets there's a phone number well there was a phone number we got it right there. there oh there it is okay <laughs> and a qr code it's at 3 p.m tomorrow at the richland performing arts center Sorry, I'm out of breath. Oh, yeah, fine. <laughs> I know, I was if thinking. You just, if you grab your phone, you can just get that QR code right Hover there. Right over it. It's this Saturday, February 17th. It'll be in Johnstown, and you'll get to see these amazing, amazing students. Yes, right people. there at the I'm Richland just, Performing yes. Arts Center. Wow. Thanks for coming on. Thanks Happy for Friday. Thank you. We wanted amazing. to let you.